Elder Millennials, what stereotype aggravates you the most? Mystery of Stuff The use of the term millennial to refer to the general young person. As a younger millennial, I hate PPL bringing up that I eat Tide Pods. Man PPL my age were out of college and in the working world by the time TikTok challenges were a thing. I'm mid-30s and have had a boomer try to use that to invalidate all of my arguments. Yeah well at least my generation never ate soap mine didn't either, and if some of them had, that wouldn't say anything about me. I had to go on a business trip and work with an older lady who was just about ready to retire. I manage trade shows and travel around North America to convention centers and hotels organizing events. She had an old school way of checking inventory by hand. I'm pretty good with Excel and Salesforce, so I had a faster way of doing it. I got the job done like I've been doing for years and left so I could go enjoy Vancouver. We've all heard the saying work smarter, not harder. She couldn't get it through her head that the workday was done for me. I found out from another colleague that she called me a lazy entitled millennial with no work ethic. So that's the stereotype I hate. I busted my ass and paid my way through college. I worked long hours and kissed ass to get to the position I'm in. I know plenty of other young professionals that have done the same. This idea from baby boomers that we're entitled or lazy gets tiresome. That we're entitled. Having worked with the general public for over a decade, I can assure you the overwhelming majority of entitled and rude behavior comes from the over 50s crowd. Edit, also they keep telling us to be more financially responsible, but when we are there like no, not like that. Can't wait to tell my judgmental extended family that I'm having a backyard wedding because I don't have 30k just lying around my parents are already pissed about it. I for one, am tired of hearing about the things we've killed. Tastes change all the time, this is not new. That we don't take our jobs seriously. I had to sit my peer, 55 plus, down and tell him that the millennials he was bitching about were the same age as the very qualified and mission-focused person he's been working with for the past decade. We're upper management. I get extra salty about the boomers that are constantly on their phones playing Candy Crush or reposting misinformation on Facebook, but we'll be the first to say we are addicted to tech. Ah uh, okay. Sir. I believe that is just the shame talking because you can't make a pivot table and I can Kevin. I'm getting really tired of hearing about us lying around expecting handouts and not working. Especially when it's a situation where the person saying it is standing in a room with a lot of millennials, all of whom have jobs, which is every single time I've heard this said in real life. Like, who here is lying around doing nothing? Who's your example? Oh it's your neighbor's best friend's cousin's son, he doesn't have a job and lies on the couch all day. Okay. 1981 here. The stereotypes are amazing. Every time I hear an insult aimed at millennials I'm amazed and amused that anyone thought it was an insult. An entire demographic dedicated to making sure everyone is doing something they believe in, that we all get the support we need and putting Applebee's out of business? I'm honored to be counted among them on a technicality. That people don't own a house because they're lazy. I have taken the time to explain the loss of buying power, stagnant wages, automation, contract employees, lack of job security, cost of living in other areas, etc. play way more into it. We got blamed for spring break COVID outbreaks. We aren't in college anymore. Edit went to bed and woke up to 25,000 likes. Thanks for the awards. When someone makes mention of some challenge teenagers are doing like eating Tide Pods and people are like ugh, millennials. Um, no. Just because four to five people did something stupid, and then the news decided to take it and run with it and make it sound way more widespread than it is, doesn't mean you get to generalize a whole generation. Secondly, millennials are practically the age of the parents of the TikTok generation. It's not a generic term for any young person doing something you don't like. As an American, it's basically that we're inheriting a system that nobody trusts us to run. 
All the people who represent us are two to three times older than us. The older generations are refusing or unable to retire which is preventing us from actually entering the job market. We currently have the most geriatric Congress in US history. The boomers refuse to concede power and continue to be elected as they still have sheer numbers on X, Y and Z. That however will change by 2024 with a relatively even amount and by 2028 most boomers will be too feeble or will have passed away to be able to make it to the polls. You must go to college and get a degree. You don't want to be flipping burgers or changing the oil in some rich guy's car. Does that incurs a lot of debt. These irresponsible millennials and their elitist liberal educations. If they'd been smart, they'd go to community college and transfer slash go to trade school. They won't just take a job, any job to pay the bills. They could flip burgers. Why should we pay for their mistakes? Like many, I am working from home. I'll get a call from my mom hey you are not working now, go do something for me. Thanks, working from home is way away shitter than going to real work, at least for me. I do fit the stereotype of hating talking on the phone. The stereotype that a lot of millennials are struggling with money because they're lazy and entitled is ridiculous. Look at the average wage versus the cost of rent, health care, and higher education now, versus what it was a few decades ago. Boomers had it far easier than we did, but act like our generation's struggles just boil down to a lack of hard work. Also, the participation trophy meme, aside from being largely bullshit anyway, raises the question, whose generation was giving out the participation trophies? Why would you blame the kids who received them? Mystery of Stuff